This is North Texas Weather Center with your latest four minute forecast as we'll be going over everything that you need to know in this forecast for what to expect for severe weather over the next three days. Temperatures out there this morning, we are mild out there, very mild in fact. Most of us are right now in the upper 60s across North Texas, closer to 70 in Dallas this morning. Temperatures by lunchtime will rise into the low 80s for many of us possibly getting as high as the low 90s in portions of DFW this afternoon. Don't be shocked if it happens. If it does, that would be indicating that we could see a weakened cap, which might bring some storms. More on that in just a second. Let's take a look at the dew points out there. It is extremely humid out there. We are looking at dew points across the mid 60s right now in DFW. Now, during the afternoon today, we'll start to see dew points drop back off to the northwest. Now, anyone that's behind this area here off to the northwest will not have a chance for storms because it will be too dry. I mean, we're going to be looking at dew points in the 40s and also low 50s. Anything behind the dry line, which is kind of, you know, pretty much defined right here, that is an area that we will not see any sort of storm activity this afternoon. That dry line will eventually push through portions of DFW most likely northwestern dfw before going back off to the northwest which will prompt that potential for severe storms tomorrow with dew points as high as the low 70s so tomorrow will be a completely different story today is going to be isolated discrete supercells take a look at the outlook for today a slight risk of severe weather does exist for portions of dfw and also back off to the east i would expect the highest chance for any severe weather this afternoon to be over in this region here so eastern dfw possibly dallas included damaging winds and large hail will be the main threats out of any storms that develop which is only about 20 20 to 25 percent of us will see any storms in that area specifically a chance for a low-end tornado threat does exist as well but that will primarily be closer to southeastern oklahoma not really in our coverage area large to very large hail possible during the daytime as well today again this is primarily east of i-35e so anyone near dallas and off to the east has a chance for maybe some large to very large hail as high as high as the sizes of baseball so just be monitoring that as well as a low-end chance for a tornado east of dallas so this will be something also watch for primarily back off to the northeast all right obviously there's a big factor it will be there will the cap be in place this is a huge question mark for the daytime today we'll have more updates for you by lunchtime on our facebook and instagram pages but for right now if the cap does weaken we could very well see some supercell storms back out to the east producing all modes of severe weather eventually all this will clear out by seven o'clock but this will primarily be between one to five o'clock this afternoon will be your best chance for that potential for some severe storms tomorrow is a completely different story we could see a severe weather outbreak across north texas an enhanced risk of severe weather does exist as of when i'm recording this that could change to a moderate threat i will not rule that out but as of right now an enhanced risk of severe weather does include all of dfw damaging winds large hail and possibility possibility for several tornadoes does exist as well which a couple of those could be strong that is mainly because of what we could see in terms of the setup we are expecting a pretty significant setup in terms of seeing some discrete supercells here's three o'clock on tuesday afternoon a possibility for discrete supercell exists as early as two to three o'clock these storms will eventually develop basically just west of i-35w and eventually these storms move into the metroplex around five to seven o'clock and eventually we'll see these storms potentially posing all threats of severe weather and again if these are discrete supercells as of right now that's what it's looking like we could see a severe weather outbreak and possibly a strong tornado or two wednesday is a low end threat for most of us in dfw this will primarily be east of dfw but taking a look at the future radar real quick you can see that there's a potential for a line of storms to develop as early as four to five o'clock closer to dfw this would be dallas plano sherman and back down to the southwest a little area storms might develop right around five to six in the morning this will eventually move out to the east severe weather will be low with this in dfw maybe damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour or quarter sized hail other than that we will be pretty much severe weather free at least for dfw on wednesday here's your latest north texas weather center seven day forecast storm chances and this is the extended forecast storm chances exist this weekend low end threats for both saturday and easter sunday so this will be something to watch maybe a couple of storms on sunday more on that when we get there but as of right now not a high-end risk it will not be a washout next week we'll have a big cold front come through highs only in the 60s by monday this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting birdies pro turf and all dense repair